Now, ever since the sequel trilogy came to an end, a lot of Star Wars fans around the globe have been very critical over what J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson really did with those movies in the long run, and exactly how Kathleen Kennedy was the one that was really pushing this and making this happen for all the certain decisions that were made for the sequel movies by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing, of course, that Favreau and Filoni have been up to behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm is not only bringing back many of the fan favorite aspects of Star Wars Legends, but also really providing a lot of new retcons to the Star Wars franchise that's really going to steer things in a better path, or in a different path for that matter, for a lot of the lore related to the sequel trilogy movies and a lot of other things out there that's going to really be treated in a different way. Now given that there are a lot of diff different things that are being provided by George Lucas and how he's actually helping out Favreau and Filoni greatly behind the scenes, you know, kind of advising them telling them what to do, what not to do, and not only that, but George is going to become a co-writer for a lot of upcoming Star Wars projects, both in the form of television and upcoming Star Wars films, not being the main writer per se, but yes, being a co-writer. However, that brings us down to the character of Rey, and exactly what Lucasfilm has been up to behind the scenes with the character, and what's in it for her when it comes to all of the new Star Wars lore, that's going to be made officially canon by holiday season of 2023 that rolls into 2024. So let's get right into it. Now, with Favreau and Filoni preparing to make some big revelations in upcoming Star Wars lore for 2023 and 24, they have been very involved in changing some of the aspects of the sequel, sequel trilogy movies for the fans around the globe. However, it's noted that, ha that Lucasfilm recently finalized its plan to cancel the concept of Rey Skywalker through both Star Wars lore for the future and for merchandise surrounding the character as Favreau and Filoni are creating a backstory for her to become Rey Kenobi and also holding that bloodline of Palpatine to justify her powers from both the light and the dark. Now both John and Dave have been involved in the process for the past 12 months and the final take is that Rey is set to be officially named as Rey Solana Kenobi. The Solana name comes from Colin Trevorrow's original script in which she was going to be called Rey Solana. However, John and Dave are set to also create a twist that Rey is not her birth name and that her birth name will be labeled as Kira in the upcoming lore, but will still go by her alias known as Rey. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, we've talked about this multiple times before in the past about Favreau and Filoni's plan on changing Rey's name, her backstory, her parents, etc., her bloodline, you name it, and getting rid, getting rid of that Rey Skywalker concept. And that is officially happening now over at Lucasfilm. They're no longer going to do that in merchandise or in upcoming Star Wars lore. They're going to give her that Rey Solana Kenobi name in future merchandise and future Star Wars lore for 2024. Now the thing about John and Dave is that basically what they have been up to is that they are also set to bring out a post episode 9 series that's going to actually involve Daisy Ridley as Rey in the form of multiple cameos that's going to further set this in motion, set this in actual canon. And we all know that Daisy Ridley visited Lucasfilm a couple of weeks ago. We saw that post on her Instagram story. And yeah, even though she openly made it clear, tried to make it clear, that it meant nothing. In reality, it does, because she has been having meetings with John and Dave for the past six months about her returning to Star Wars by 2025 with all of the upcoming new shows planned. So, that really does bring a lot of things to question, right? Exactly what is this going to do for the Star Wars fandom? Is this going to make fans view Rey in a different manner? Is it going to make fans like the character more? Is it going to change her likability as a character? You know, these are a lot of questions that a lot of fans are asking themselves. Now, 
obviously I think it's going to make the character more entertaining. Do I think it's really going to fix the sequels? Not necessarily, but I think it will most certainly repair the character and kind of make the character all the more engaging and more interesting because John and Dave, basically, they want to make the character more fleshed out. Having a bigger backstory, adding a bigger backstory to her parents, her bloodline, and making it that Rey is just an alias, or a code name, if you will, and that her real name is Kira, and her middle name will be Solana, and her last name will be Kenobi. Since they want to make a canon that Rey's mother is a descendant of the Kenobi bloodline, and Rey's father is going to be the legitimate son of Palpatine instead of just a clone. So moving on to the next thing here, this is where things begin to really pick up, is that Daisy Ridley has been made fully aware of these changes and is said to be thrilled about all of them. Her birth name being Kira is based on what JJ was originally set out to call her in The Force Awakens. This is said to be a love letter to the original ideas meant for Rey that John and Dave are about to fulfill and making a canon that Rey's mother was once a powerful Force user and descended from the Kenobi bloodline, and that her father, like I said before, was the true son of Palpatine. Now, her parents are also going through some retcons related to their story being handled by John and Dave for the time being that will be established by next year. So, the other thing that I do want to go over real quick that I think is very important about all of this is that everything related to Rey Skywalker is being pretty much on the being put on the back burner. They're trying to get rid of that. And I think that they realized that that was a very weak ending for episode 9. Now sure there are fans that love that ending, and there's no doubt about that. Let's not, you know, put that in the rear view window. That is a real thing. There are fans that like the whole Rey Skywalker thing, and that's okay. But the majority never really liked that idea of her just taking that name and labeling herself as a Skywalker and how that was the true meaning of the title. It felt very misleading for fans, right? And so John and Dave, they're really trying to kind of create a remedy for what happened in episode 9 and what happened with the character of Rey. We are about to see a new version of Rey in an upcoming Star Wars show that we have never seen before when it comes to Rey. We're going to see a brand new take on the character in nature by John and Dave. And I think that's going to be all the more interesting because I know that there's a lot of critics about the character of Rey based on how JJ and Ryan wrote her. But this time around, we're going to be getting a different version of the character written by both John and Dave for this mystery post episode 9 series for 2025 that they want to begin filming by 2024. They're going to begin writing this thing by next year, mind you. So they have a lot of things planned. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.